Hello, in this um, follow along demonstration, uh, we're going to go ahead and do kind of a review of getting to um, sort of remind ourselves how to create graphical user interfaces using Python, specifically using the module TK Enter. So if you'll follow along, what we're going to do is we're going to create a temperature converter um, that's a graphical user that's got a graphical user interface. And, um, and then I'll present you with sort of a challenge that you'll need to complete the program. Um, and accomplish. So to start with, let's go ahead and import uh, TK Enter. So um, this is the module um, or library of code that allows us to readily, easily build uh, graphical user interfaces. And so um, the first thing we need to do uh, generally when we get into TK Enter is we need to build a window. So we're just going to call it window uh, and we, oops, we need an equal sign there. Uh, we're going to call TK, lowercase TK, which is the library. Um, that's our nickname or alias for TK Enter. And then uh, capital T, lowercase T, or, excuse me, capital T, lowercase K with parentheses um, is basically what's called a constructor. So it's actually going to instantiate the window object for us. And so now that we've got our window object, let's let's configure it a little bit. We're going to give it a little geometry. Uh, we're going to set some dimensions. Um, let's do 500 by 200, so 500 by width, 200 in height. We'll go ahead and give it a title. Um, so you can give it a title by using uh, the, the window dot title is, is uh, just like the window dot geometry is what's called dot notation. And so um, there are different um, when you create an object, a window object, a TK object, um, it has some different attributes, and that's basically what we're we're dipping into here. So let's just call it temperature converter, and that'll be a um, a label that appears at the top of the window. Um, the other thing we should probably do is just skip down a few lines, um, and window dot main loop should keep the window open for us. And so here we can go ahead and test this. Um, we are in firewalled replit. I didn't mention that earlier, but if you're working at um, at school, um, you're going to want to have that there. So there we go. Here's our window. It's 500 wide, pixels wide, 200 pixels high. It's got the temperature converter title in it. Um, so, um, all right, I think we're good. We can start putting in some uh, widgets, right? So we need some widgets. Uh, and so we're going to go ahead and use grid as our geometry manager. Um, let's say... We want our a frame, and our frame is going to be TK frame, and we need to set that to be attached to the window. So we'll give that a go, and we need to grid that. So we need to tell it where. We're going to put it at row zero, column zero, uh, and put some padding around it. So. Um, and I don't know, there's nothing in it right now, so I suspect it won't show. Let me go ahead and click run here. Yeah, we don't see anything yet because there's nothing attached in it. Uh, let's go ahead and attach our first widget. So we'll need a place for our user here to create um, or to enter uh, a number, uh, the temperature. So uh, let's call it int temp, and we need a equal sign there. Uh, TK entry is the widget for... Um, for an entry. Now we're going to attach it to the frame. So uh, let's put the frame here and it uh, will give it a width. So width 10 um, will give them plenty of space to put a number in and uh, we'll also want um, a, a label after it uh, in order to sort of demarcate the uh, whether it's Celsius or Fahrenheit. We're going to start with Fahrenheit here. So we're going to create this label so TK label, and we've got to attach it again to our frame. Uh, in this case, we want to put text. It's a label, and we're going to we could put an image in it, but we're going to be using a text here. And so uh, we're going to use a bit of code um, backslash in curly bracer degree Fahrenheit, um, not Fahrenheit. should uh, give us, and I think we need a closed curly bracer here, so be careful with that, but that should give us um, the degrees, capital F, the little degree sign with capital F. Now, these won't show up yet, of course, until we um, widgets have to be gridded, um, so we need to grid these. So let's go int temp.grid, and we'll stick that in 
the frame row zero column zero so in the top left corner and we're gonna make it sticky and we're gonna stick it uh, to the to the east and we will grid our our label as well uh, this is going to be in column one because we want it to the right of the text entry box and we'll see this hopefully in a minute we'll see if we've got any typos but we'll push that over to the right okay with those things attached to the frame and the frame attached to the window we should be able to see something here all right there we go so this uh, entry box here has 10 spaces the width of 10 uh, gives us this box and then this code basically here uh, in Python gives us the, the, the degrees Fahrenheit symbol, uh, which is what we're looking for there. And everything's kind of aligned the way we want it. So um, now we need the other part of this. Uh, we need a button um, that the user can press that will convert whatever they've put in there in Fahrenheit and display the Celsius conversion. So um, let's put int temp. Uh, uh, we'll need a button. So button underscore, let's call it, well, we can call it convert. Convert uh, equals TK button, because it's a button widget. We're going to attach it to the frame as well. And we do need some text to label the button. We're just going to put a couple of dashes and an arrow to indicate that it's going to be converted here. And uh, later we're going to put a command in here in order to actually like uh, fire off a function when we hit the button. So right now this is sort of decorative. We also need the result um, of the conversion. So let's call that TK label. Uh, we're going to put this on the form frame entry and we'll set the text here equal to uh, kind of going to use the same pattern we did before in uh, curly bracer degree celsius all in caps with the close curly bracer and um let's go ahead and grid these so we've got convert we've got the button we're going to grid uh and it's going to be in row zero but this time it's going to be in column uh we should probably put it in column we've used zero and one column two with padding um, y equals 10 to push it down a little bit and let's put the grid let's label the let's grid out the result label also on that first row but let's do column equal three um, we'll pad it a little bit okay all right let's see what we've got here we're getting close So you can see here they can put the temperature in um, and then they can hit this button and what we want to have happen is we want it to convert 32 Fahrenheit or whatever number they put in into Celsius. And so now is the time where we're going to need to go ahead and program a, the button to, um, to call a function. So we need a function. So let's go up here um, to the top of our program just under our import and we can, we can probably uh, put functions for conversion as a comment here we could put configure window here we could put configure frame okay so let's put this function in um, we use the keyword def to create a function and we're going to call our function Fahrenheit underscore to Celsius all right, and we need first to grab the value that they put into the frame here, into the label, the, the temp, the int temp. So int temp has a method called get. And so what that does is it's going to go grab that 32 out of that text field, and it's going to store it in Fahrenheit. Okay. Now, it's storing it as a string, so we're going to need to be careful. We're going to do a calculation here. We want to, we, we're going to create a variable called Celsius, and we're going to do a calculation. We want... 5 ninths times, and then here we want uh, an int, so actually not an int, a float. We want a float. 
So we want a decimal number. Um, so we're going to convert Fahrenheit uh, into a float, and then we'll subtract 32. So that's just the formula um, for converting Fahrenheit to Celsius. You take your Fahrenheit, you subtract 32 from it, and then you multiply it by 5 ninths to do a conversion. So at this point, if our math is good, um, Celsius is um, going to be a variable that holds our conversion, our calculation. And now we need to actually write it into the label. So we're going to take label result, which is right now currently holding that degrees Celsius. And we're going to say, okay, I want you to change the text attribute, the existing text that's in there, which is just that degree Celsius. And I want you to put, we're going to use what's called an F string, and we're going to round Celsius to two decimal points. Uh, and we also still want our degree Celsius uh, symbol to be there so let's see if we close curly bracer there so let's scooch this over a little bit so we can kind of see it um, the text lines here so Fahrenheit is going to grab the number uh, Celsius is a calculation it's going to calculate it's going to convert Fahrenheit to a decimal subtract 32 multiply it by 5 9 stick that in Celsius and this guy right here should change this label degree Celsius to have the number plus the label if we've done everything uh, correctly so uh, the, the functions not called yet because we have not down here with the button where we make the button we've attached to the widget we set the text to be the arrows here but uh, what we need now is command equal and we need the name of our function and here you want to be careful that you do not put the parentheses here, okay? Because it'll just call the function when it gets to line 21, and we want it to only call the function uh, when the button's pressed. So let's see if we've got any errors to deal with. All right, it's looking good here. So if we had type in 32, if you look at the math, 32 minus 32 is zero, and zero times five, um, five ninths is zero. So if we put 32 into check and get zero, all right, 0.0, .0 so it's pretty good. Uh, Fahrenheit, 212 is boiling point. We should get about 100 degrees Celsius. Okay, so it looks like it's working. So at this point, we've completed the first half of the program. Now, what I would like you to do is here, just below this row, is to create another entry box, but have degrees Celsius here, uh, the same button with an arrow on it, and degrees Fahrenheit over here, and when you press that button it should call a different function that converts celsius to fahrenheit so the user can either put a number up here and convert it to celsius or put a number underneath and convert celsius to fahrenheit so um, good luck with the challenge uh, check in uh, with your teacher if you uh, run into any problems or need assistance